Thank you very much for inviting me, me here today. I'm very happy to be here. Speaking about risks, I can do, but it's not my favorite topic. <laughs> Let's speak about the opportunities, which have many risks aside to it. Now, I would really like to thank you to be here today because uh, this matchmaking conference uh, is extremely intense, but extremely important. Because when you look uh, at what really matters is that we challenge ourselves, that we exchange constantly to find uh, new ways of really innovating. And when we think about innovation, um, yes, we are extremely proud of Fizzy, and um, it is nice to see how the market is reacting to Fizzy. When I was at the investor conference last week, um, there was probably 20% of the conversation was about Fizzy. So I would really like to thank the team again and congratulate the team uh, that uh, a very, very powerful idea has make, made a big difference. But if we now look forward into innovation, we really need to look uh, more in the academic world. And um, I'm very happy uh, to see that this link uh, between the academic world and the business world um, has taken place here. And I would really like uh, to thank the three professors uh, who have been here today, who have really helped us uh, to do this. Brian Ford uh, from the EPFL, and um, I had the uh, pleasure uh, to visit Brian uh, at the place where he works, and uh, this was a very inspiring day. From the building uh, to our conversation to the whole environment, so uh, well done. The second uh, person that I'm really glad to have here is Professor Robert Deng from the uh, Singapore Management University. I haven't had a chance yet uh, to visit you, but now that I know that you are uh, obsessed with cybersecurity, I need to visit you. Because it's a topic that uh, is obviously very risky uh, and that is uh, yeah, taken, taking more and more time of ours. And then the third person, Paul Ohm from uh, Georgetown University, who is also working on a subject uh, that we are all very passionate about, uh, which is around big data, privacy, and particularly the topic of discrimination, uh, which certainly in our business um, is one of the most important topics when you think about uh, the future of our business model. I'm not only wanting to thank uh, the external participants, despite the fact um, that they uh, are a really important factor in this event, but also want to thank uh, the internal teams because the research fund team uh, and the uh, whole team of Jad and Alban have really contributed uh, to make this day a good day, to make this uh, discussion a very productive discussion. And I really hope that you have been thinking, been brainstorming, uh, brainstorming, yes, about the risk of uh, IoT, but in particular also about the opportunities, because we often have the tendency to put the risks in the forefront, um, which uh, often hinders us to see the opportunity. I would rather prefer to start with the opportunities and then see how we manage the risk behind. And I know that IoT has great opportunities, has also multiple challenges, and we should not neglect them because those challenges that are around uh, ethical, business, and societal challenges are extremely important and particularly important um, for our own business because our own business is based on engaging in society, on diversifying risk in society, and discrimination is actually at the opposite of what we want to achieve. I would not like to be too long after you had a, a very long day, but I wanted um, to stress a couple of points. I think these events are extremely important and essential to have a dialogue. And a dialogue implies it's always a two-way street. It is great to listen to the academic brains um, that have uh, done this workshop together with us, but it's even more important that the internal experts supported by the research fund team think about this, understand what does it mean for our business, what does it mean for the business community, and how can we really use that dialogue to change our own business. And secondly, when you look at our business, we have a growing need to really leverage those technologies in our own business. 
Think about uh, the implications of IoT. Think about how we can change our business model. Yes, uh, in a way where we need to pay attention that uh, discrimination doesn't destroy our model. But on the other hand, in the way of really getting into contact with our customer, thinking about how can we contribute more to society, there are many, many more opportunities than risk. And understanding and leveraging these technologies is very, very important and also should really make us think what do we want to be? Do we want to stay a payments institution that is paying bills or do we really want to become the partner of our customer? I personally am fully convinced those new technologies offer us a direct access to the customer, becoming the partner of our customer beyond the payment of our claims, beyond the coverage of, that you see on the insurance contract. But it will also mean that we need to push ourselves more towards a techni technological leader in insurance. I really think we should look at other examples in the industry. If you look uh, in banking, Goldman Sachs today is probably less of a bank, but more of a technology company. They have embraced this topic and we are at crossroads today. What do we want to become? We have invested significant amounts of money in an ecosystem that works very well. And we cover the whole, uh, the, all the spots from uh, researching, understanding um, with our labs what's going on in the ecosystem, from investing into many of those companies, but also going further in analyzing data and even incubating businesses that could potentially destroy our own model. I think it's exactly the right way to do it, but we need to think how can we really go further? Because this is good, but not sufficient. And we are at crossroads now to decide for ourselves how are we going further. And by going further, we also need to have many, many more fizzies and need to have many, many more commits. And we need to decide in the next few weeks how are we going to achieve this? How are we leveraging this innovation ecosystem to become the technological leader of insurance. This also means that we need to move from writing slides about it, discussing it more into execution. And those next few weeks, months and years will be crucial to really get there. In order to achieve it, we need to look at a few dimensions. The first one is the internal dimension. We have today 160,000 employees at AXA. Those employees have understood now through their job, through their private life, that things have changed. But they have not necessarily yet embarked on the journey with us. And I believe it's extremely important to go the journey together with them and to make sure that we help everybody that is skeptic, everybody that doesn't know how to move in this new environment to take him or her on our hands and really accompany them through a very innovation-friendly culture into this new area. Because again, when I come back to risk and opportunities, we speak today a lot about the risks and a lot about the negative factors. When you look at uh, technological cycles, there is always one learning. We've forgotten about the opportunities and we've forgotten to speak about those opportunities from an early perspective. And we should not make that same mistake again. And therefore, the outside perspective is for me another important element. We often have the tendency to only look at ourselves and to really think about ourselves. What is important is that the solutions of tomorrow are not within our industry, but often outside of our industry or at the boundary with another industry. That means we need to focus more on the outside. We should be nurtured more from what is going on around us. And this is not only true for the question around what can we do for our own business, for our own purposes in innovation. With that digital revolution, we will also be asked as companies to play a very different role in society. Jat and I are working on the topic around uh, future of work when it comes to digital. 
And this is not something that we should leave to the politicians. Yes, the politicians have a very important role in it, but we also have an important role. And we should really leverage our size, but also our opportunity that we have. Because being big does also mean that we have big responsibilities. And when I think back, where have we taken the last courageous move in being big and being bold, uh, it was clearly around our decision on tobacco. But this was only one of many decisions that we could still take, where we need to be bold, where we need to dare, but also where we can make a big impact into society. To conclude, I would really encourage you to pursue this dialogue. It is great to see that you have worked today very intensely on how can the research community and the business world leverage each other, how can we really work together. And I'm also glad to see that a very old recipe that I have learned when I was still head of distribution, which was you should never leave each other without having a clear follow-on meeting. And I'm glad to see that you have really pursued that rule and that you have a follow-on, which is again on two very important topics that are very close to my heart. One beyond critical illness. I think this is a key, key question for our society. 20% of these cases make 80% of the payments. How can we really help reducing the inefficiency in the health system? And the second topic is about resilient cities. And I think uh, having a, a citizen of Singapore here is probably the best thing that you can have because Singapore is probably the most advanced um, city in the world thinking about this. And I was yesterday uh, with uh, Dassault Systems that is working with, uh, with Singapore on how to really um, understand cities. What does it mean if an explosion happens? What does it mean if, uh, if there is uh, food poisoning, all that kind of stuff? And this is very, very close uh, to insurance where we can really play our own role. I'm very glad that you have been here. I'm very glad that you had a fruitful dialogue. I would really like to thank you for that. But I would also encourage you, leverage those ideas that you had today, leverage the community for your daily business. And don't forget that we don't only need to look for AXA, we need to look for the larger society. Society is waiting for us and there's many, many more things that we need to resolve. The only way we can do it if we keep innovation as one of our core strategic priorities. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.